Whales Without Borders, Whale News and Events, currently on our sonar. This is filed under whaleswithoutborders.info slash whale news. Hello everyone, Gordon Snyder here bringing whale news about whales, whale watching, whale watchers, whale rescues, whale festivals, whale events, and whale etc. The whale news on our Whales Without Borders sonar 11 here is six stories that I've pulled together. The first one's briefly about uh, scientists who seek to ban uh, a proposal to kill whales for research. The second story is about open wide and say ah, and revealing how uh, whale mouths work when they feed. The third story is whales can be told apart by their voices. And so this study has just been released about uh, some of that. Fourth one is about the Sea Shepherd suing the Japanese whalers, and this is more of an update, it's been going on for a long time. Uh, the fifth one is a very cool one called Not Just Whale Food, and this is about the phytoplankton and the microorganisms in the ocean. And the final one that I thought was rather interesting is a two-part story, but it's fins to legs to fins again, and then uh, it's about uh, animals that have moved to the ocean from the the first story is scientists seek to ban the proposal to kill whales for research. Hundreds of scientists have rallied against a new Japanese proposal to kill whales in the name of research. A plan one New Zealand marine biologist calls whaling in disguise. Last year, the International Court of Justice ordered Japan to close its scientific, quote unquote, whaling program in the Antarctica. But Japan submitted, just recently, a 12-year plan to kill 333 minkies whales per year. One of the comments from the marine biologists is, it's just whaling in the disguise as science. You can read more about this on the link called Scientists Seek to Ban Proposal to Kill Whales for Research on the website. The second story is a very cool one. I get asked about this a lot, and so this has kind of got a nice little bit to it. It's about how whales feed. It's called open wide and say ah. It's when fin whale gets ready to eat, the earth's second largest animal opens its mouth so wide it can gulp an amount of water that's actually larger than the, its own body as it filters out its meal of tiny fish and shrimp like krill. When feeding, this whale increases its swimming speed, opens its mouth, and then lunges in the ocean to force water rushing into its mouth during the lunge feeding. It turns the tongue upside down and expands the bottom oral cavity into a huge pouch between the body wall and the overlying skin and blubber. As it closes its mouth, the whale filters out the seawater through the plates and begins eating huge quantities of the small prey. More interesting here, more interesting info here at Open Wide and Say Ah, the secrets of how whale mouths are revealed. The third story is another interesting one about how whales can be told apart by their voices. This is another new study that U.S. researchers say they can distinguish individual whales based on the sounds of the animals' voices. Suction cup sensors were attached to the backs of 13 right whales and used to record their vocalizations over a period of like more than a decade. They concentrated on the up calls, one of the most common noises made by this species. These are fairly low pitched vocalizations that rise over about mm, one or two seconds. You can see more, read more about this on Whales Can Be Told Apart by Their Voices study on the website. Our fourth story is about the Sea Shepherd suing the Japanese whalers. A U.S.-based marine conservation organization, Sea Shepherd Conservation Society, has filed claims against Japan's Institute for Cetacean Research, ICR. Sea Shepherd also claims that the ICR is guilty of piracy for illegally killing and taking whales from the sea for commercial profit and for engaging in violent actions against the Sea Shepherd volunteers. You remember seeing things about this where they're shooting them with water cannons and actually sunk one of their vessels. So 
There's more information on this on the article called Sea Shepherd Sues Japanese Whalers. That's almost a tongue twister. The fifth article that caught my eye is one that usually, things like this usually do, is not just whale food. As researchers unveil bizarre and beautiful tiny organisms that form ocean plankton. This plankton include microscopic plants and animals, fish larvae, bacteria, viruses, and other microorganisms that drift in the ocean waters. Scientists have revealed the most comprehensive analysis ever undertaken of the world's ocean plankton, the tiny organisms that serve as food for marine creatures such as the blue whale, but also provide about half the oxygen that we as humans breathe. There's more information on this story called Not Just Whale Food on the website. The final story that I really caught my eye is a two-part story. It's called Fins to Legs to Fins, Walking Whales and Other Creatures that Went Back to the Sea. Whales, dolphins, seals, and sea turtles are examples of marine tetrapods, an exceptional group of animals that moved from the sea to the land and then back to the sea again. Each time they made radical changes to their lifestyle, body shape, physiology, sensory systems, the whole nine yards of what it took to exist in their new uh, ecosystem. Changes so radical, in fact, that whales and dolphins are referred to as tetrapods or animals with four legs, and there are such a thing as walking whales. This reverse migration of land animals back to the ocean began about 250 million years ago. And if you're interested in this, you can find the two-part story called Fins to Legs to Fins on the website. Well, that's the stories for, for this Sonar Edition. Number 11, I guess we are now. Um, so, Whale Watchers and Whale News Events for Whale Watchers from around the world. Yeah, send us any news about whales you think is important for the rest of us to know. You can comment and add your whale photos or your YouTube, Vimo, etc. videos to let the rest of us see your whale experiences and adventures. Email your links or stories about whale news and whales, whale watching and whale rescues, whale etc. to news at whaleswithoutborders.info and please include any feedback or comments. They're greatly appreciated. This is Gordon Snyder. Catch you next time. Oh, one final note. Please support our advertisers on whaleswithoutborders.info websites and drop us a line if any of those ads are not proper.